Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for June. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. Sometimes they will be, and sometimes they will not. So what do we have for Scorpio, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? Well, there we go. Man holding coin. It did come out reversed. It was it was it was reversed. I flipped it when I turned it over. So, you know, for some of you you may be having some financial worries. You may have some have some financial woes. Somebody may be after your money. Okay? Or you could be dealing with a person that is having financial problems, okay? Um or they're not contributing financially to the situation if you are if you are the female watching this you could be dealing with a man that is financially unstable if you're the male watching this this could be you okay um, I'm gonna leave it reversed well I hate to leave it reversed there's an opportunity to recover you can you you have an opportunity okay this is about money okay there's there's a there's a there's a financial issue okay or there's a financial aspect to this reading right right as we start out okay um <clears throat> I gotta put it reverse because it came out reverse. It's just the way it goes. I can't I can, I'm not a pretender. You know, I did it you know we, for the Leo reading the, their card came out reversed and I I don't know what to put it as. I'm gonna leave it reversed. I feel the need to leave it reversed, okay? I feel as though we have somebody here that is not, they're having, there's financial problems, okay? Somebody could be after your money and you're trying to hold on to it, you know? Or there's not enough money to go around. What do we have for Scorpio? There could be some financial loss of some sort. I mean, that's what I keep thinking. Judgment. Now, this is represented by Scorpio. There's there's some sort of secret, perhaps, or something not going in your favor. Maybe Maybe there's a divorce, for example, and you have to pay out, you know? There's some sort of, or there's a misjudgment, or there's some sort of trial, or something like that, and now you got to pay out. Maybe I'm just, I mean, that could certainly be the case. Um, this is lack of awareness as well. So somebody may not be aware that they're, that they're throwing money away on a situation. I'm not sure. This is, there's, there could be some self-loathing going on as well. Somebody could be uh, not telling the truth or speaking the truth, and it's costing you money in some way. I don't know. This is lack of truth. This is also a card of karma. And it's like there's no chance of re reconciliation or something like that. There's no chance of, of reconciling, right? Or fixing something, whatever. Some of you may be going through a divorce or going through a split or something that has cost you some money. Doesn't have, That will not be for everybody. Um... This is, this is, this is good though. The six of coins. This is, you will get what you deserve out of this. If somebody is being dishonest or if somebody is lying, you will get what you deserve. Now, this is a blessing. This is a, uh, the, you will, this is receiving some sort of blessing and the six of coins is getting something that you deserve. But this is, there's options, there's choices. There's a complex decision here that you have to make. There's some sort of confusion. There's some sort of illusion of some sort. Somebody's probably lying, okay? You could be dealing with somebody who's not telling you the truth. They're filling somebody up with a pile of shit. Sorry. Just being... That just came out. Anyway, um, it could be a wife. could be the mother of your children. For some of you, for some of you, you could be dealing... If you were the male watching this, you could be dealing with somebody who is deceiving the court system. <laughs> I don't say that very often. I don't know where it's coming from. 
but this is a blessing okay she gives birth to a blessing on another note for some of you um, this is you getting what you deserve so if you are the female watching this you know your gentle compassion your beautiful soul your ability to nurture you know who the person that you are you will receive something you're going to receive something for your you know ability to face pain and struggle whatever um the if you are the male watching this this is you still receiving a miracle this is a miracle this is a blessing male or female <coughs> You are going to receive some sort of blessing out of this. Whatever this is, you're receiving a blessing. This is a gift. And it's time. You see, it's harvest time. It's time. It's time for you to receive something. You're going to receive something even though you're, you could be dealing with somebody that is not being honest. They're not being truthful. Okay? Just got to be honest with you. Um, this is the birth of a new life. Now you could be you be, you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra that's coming into your life, but you have options, okay? You have choices. You have to choose wisely here. Now you could you could certainly be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn up here, okay? Somebody, you know, from your that is taking your money too. This this reading could go so many different ways, but there's a loss loss of finances in some way. It could be because of a uh, judgment or a trial or something that's costing you money. Or somebody that's, that is being dishonest with you and they're taking your money. Something like that. Um, but we do have this blessing coming in. Oh, we have some two of cups. Thinking about it. Unhappy. Somebody's in an unhappy situation where there's no growth. But there's still an opportunity for happiness here. Now this is this is like walking away from somebody. It may be hard to walk away from somebody. There's a partnership here, and I think that you have an options between two. Okay, I think a lot, some of you are probably thinking about going back to somebody who was being dishonest with you, and you have a better option. You have a blessing waiting for you to seize the opportunity. That's what I see. Somebody that will reciprocate, somebody that will give to the situation where there's equal give and take, where you're not doing all the work, you're not paying all the bills, whatever. For some of you, there's a choice. This is a choice between who you want to be with, okay? And this is like really thinking about your options. So I think you absolutely have options here. And you are being called to really think about this. Really, really, really think hard, long and hard about this. There's a partnership definitely in the mix that, you know, you have to choose. You have to choose wisely which one is going to give to you, which one is going to reciprocate, which one is really going to make you happy. Um... There's no victory in success and no progress being made somewhere. Could be with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with somebody that doesn't act in a noble way. This is not a noble individual. They, they may be keeping you stuck. They may be keeping you in a state of denial. This, this, they may res be restricting you from happiness. You know, I feel like you you need to plan efficient, efficiently. You need to you need to come up with a new plan. You need to be practical here. Um, this is a test. This is my test card. You are being tested at this time. So, Scorpio, I think that you have to pass some sort of test in regards to, you know, what is best for you. Seriously, what is best for you? I think that changing your routine is probably an issue. You probably are very routine oriented and you may have to come up with another plan. Um, I think there's a, that somebody is blocking their emotions, really blocking the truth of a situation. I think that you have a better option and you have to choose another option and you're really thinking about it, but there's some sort of...
confusion. There's some sort of confusion about going back or, or something like that. About going back to somebody that holds you back. Put it that way. Um, it's hard to decipher, but there's very much indecision here. There's indecision about starting your new life, accepting this new blessing. It's like you, I think that you have some, some sort of new opportunity that could make you extremely happy, but you're, you're, you're blocking it or you're restricting yourself from it because I don't know if, if it's because of a ex or somebody that used you used to think was was the divine partners you know something like that it's like you're unaware it's like you're unable to accept the truth that there's there's a blessing waiting for you you could be dealing with a leo or a taurus virgo capricorn you know something that doesn't have any growth right here the, over here we have somebody that is basically holding on to something that has no growth and there's opportunity to receive reciprocation and to get what you deserve you know if you could choose choose wisely choose wisely you have a partnership here that could make you very happy but you got to make the right choice and somebody's not making the right judgment call with that judgment reversed they're being tested you're being tested right now <laughs> you know you're somebody is trapped trapped in their own mental prison trap look at this bubble it's like it's time to burst this bubble bubble it's time to step outside of your comfort zone and and Broaden your horizons. No kidding. Somebody is trapped in a situation where it feels safe. Yeah, it's safe there. It's what you know. It's like you're protecting yourself. You're protecting yourself from the unknown. Fear of the unknown. This is great fear of the unknown. You have a blessing here waiting for you to seize it. I'm not kidding. Face your fears of the unknown. You, I think that you guys have somebody that could really give to you, somebody that could really make you happy, somebody that would nurture you, somebody that would take, take care of you, but you keep on focusing, you keep on focusing on something that has emotionally hurt you. You have a better opportunity, and I think that you are beginning to realize that I think that you do know that that you have another opportunity for love here you absolutely have two options here but we do have somebody that's been in denial for quite some time and it's time to break out of this bubble it's time to stop protecting yourself it's time to accept the truth and this is lack of accepting the truth it's time to accept the truth about a partnership with somebody that you know has caused you so much it's almost like pain it's time for your rebirth it's time for you to be happy it's time to, for you to receive it's time for you to be loved it's it's time but you guys a lot of you are reluctant to move on you're reluctant to take that new approach in inability to take action Thinking too much, overanalyzing. It's time to cross that bridge into the unknown. Like I said, you're right now you have that opportunity. You are at that crossroads to cross that bridge, get to you the other side, and burn it. You have options here. And one of these options can bring you a true blessing. You have another opportunity for love. It's something that you deserve. Somebody that will actually give to you.
but it's like you guys are not seeing the opportunity. It's like you're throwing away a golden opportunity, a huge, huge, huge opportunity. I think that you guys have already lost. You've already lost something. You've already lost something really big, right? And you're still holding on to it. Let it go. You have a blessing waiting for you. You're holding on. Somebody is refusing to close a chapter in their life. And this is refusing to, to step over that finish line. Refusing their new beginning. Holding on to emptiness when we have a new opportunity here. We have somebody here that could really take good care of you. Not learning a lesson. Karmic lesson. Karma lesson. Both reversed. Somebody is not learning a karmic lesson. You want to know what that karmic lesson is about? Self-worth. Self-value. Acceptance. Going after what you deserve. Not listening. Somebody's not listening to their gut, not listening to their intuition. Total lack of awareness. Thinking that they know when they don't know. Totally not listening. Going through a repression, going through a loss of self holding on to basically a dead end. Total lack of awareness here. I don't know if you're dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Somebody with hidden agendas. Could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't know who it is. Somebody is holding. Could you know? I fire signs are big here, so I don't know if it's a fire sign. But it could be anybody. It's like you're dealing with you're dealing with an individual who steals your energy. They've brought your self confidence and your self esteem and your self worth down. And you need to find your strength to let go. This is the, the King of Wands is represented by strength. No kidding. And there's lack of strength to let go. Let go. Stop thinking about it. Just drop it. You have a blessing waiting for you. An offer of love is coming in. Somebody that will love you. Somebody that can love you. Somebody that is emotionally available. If you are single and you are watching this, you are receiving an offer of love. Whoever this person is, they see your beauty, they see your value, and they see your worth. But there's so much fear here. There's lack of confidence. And you need to open your heart. You deserve to be loved. You deserve to be loved. Your heart is huge. Don't stay, stay stuck in a situation where there's no reciprocation because you got somebody who wants to reciprocate. Know your value, know your worth. For some of you, if you are single, if you are single and you are this independent person and you are living life and you're good and you're happy and you got your shit together, there's an offer of love coming in for you and you may not be single for much longer. For some of you, you will be becoming single. Some of you are becoming single because this is like a divorce up here. I mean, some kind of, some, 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 
some kind of split. There's a loss of something. And it might cost you even money. It might cost you money. But there's a better option. There is a better option. There's a blessing waiting for you. So I feel as though you will be enjoying, this is enjoying the finer things in life. Take this as advice. Enjoy your life. Know your value. Know your worth. Don't let somebody steal your energy. This is a, it's a time, it's a, this, is a, this, is, this is an opportunity for rebirth. This is an opportunity for love. Okay, you've got love being offered to you. But you got to let go of the false contract first. Go your own way. Somebody's getting out of a contract that isn't meant to be because they have a blessing waiting for them. Somebody's becoming single. And I don't think they'll be single for long. If you are single, I don't think you're going to be single for long. Let go of the false contract because you got somebody here that wants to reciprocate and wants to take care of you. Stop blocking this person. Let them in. Whoever this person is, you may, I just cut the deck. You may meet them at a celebration. You may meet them at some sort of gathering. And you, you find, and this is unexpected. It's unexpected fortune. It's an unexpected relationship, you know, where all of a sudden you feel this connection and it shocks you. A relationship is about to become committed. I think it's with somebody. It's not this person that you've been holding on to. It's not. It's somebody else. It's somebody else. If you are single, be prepared. You're going to meet somebody that really is well suited for you and it's going to shock you because you've been in some sort of situation that wasn't meant to be that you've been holding on to and it's just it's going to be a shock because this person you didn't you don't expect it. I truly believe that you don't expect it. Some of you are getting a divorce or get going through a split and you're going to meet this person unexpectedly. Whether it's a divorce or you're finally letting go of the wrong one, somebody is letting go of the wrong one. Reluctantly, by the way. Or they're still holding on because they're unaware. We got some unawareness here for sure. Could be a Pisces. Something is hidden. There's secrets, there's lies, there's deception. Either way, there, there's a new opportunity here. There is. You probably don't see it coming. Maybe you do. Maybe you've been blocking this person for a while. You may think that there's no chance that you that you will ever find somebody that will reciprocate. That's not correct. There is somebody here that wants to love you or is going to love you and they are going to reciprocate, but you have to break free from the false contract first. That's what I see. So that's what I got. Good luck. <laughs>